Hello and welcome to Mellow Labs. I've been doing some thinking. There comes a time in every British YouTuber's life where they decide it's time for them to make an automatic tea making machine. Unfortunately, they're all kind of terrible at making automatic tea making machines. Ollie Q made a tea making machine where you have to change the tea bag manually every time you want to make a tea. Colin Furs, exactly the same problem. You have to change the tea bag manually. Even James Bruton ran into the exact same problem. So it's time for this Polish chap to show them how to do it properly. Immigrants, we get the job done. First of all, we have to talk about tea selection because the shape and size of tea bags varies greatly depending on what company you go with. Both Ollie and Colin went with Yorkshire tea and James went with PG Tips. Unfortunately, I'm more of a Tetley's person, mostly because they taste good, but also because they are extremely uniform, which makes them great for automating. Did you know Tetley's didn't pay me to make these videos? In fact, apart from my Patreon supporters, I can't get anyone to pay me to make these videos. So, if you have a few extra quid a month, and you like what I do here, and you'd like more stuff that I make here, like, you know, behind the scenes content, early access, uh, exclusive content, please consider supporting me over on Patreon, because it really does help, especially now. It's getting kind of hard to continue making these videos. Uh, so yeah, that's my spiel. Uh, please support me on Patreon, and enjoy the rest of the video. So let's grab a couple of these and figure out all the different ways we can come up with to pick them up automatically. One of the ways I thought about doing this was to have a spring from something like a vending machine with the tea bags in between and when it spins it would push out one tea bag at a time. Unfortunately I would prefer this to be a vertical stack and it doesn't really work that way. So let's keep playing around. What about suction? I've got a blower fan which sucks from this side and blows from that side and if I put it on top of a tea bag it should pick it up and that works surprisingly well unless your tea bag is any kind of crinkled because then it just won't pick it up at all. So back to the drawing board. After a couple days of playing around with things like levitation and didgeridoos I ended up at the simplest option and it's to use just a gripper because a gripper does a really good job of gripping things and picking them up. So that's what we're going to go with. Here's the idea I'm working with. I've got a stack of tea bags here and I'm reusing the lead screw system from the 3D printer I took apart on the live stream with some kind of rail to keep it, you know, going up straight. And then at the end of the arm, we've got a servo with the uh, pincher claw with a little distance sensor so that it can tell where the nearest tea bag is. So it's gonna go down, grab a tea bag and pull it back up. And then up here, we've got a secondary servo that swivels the whole arm and drops the tea bag into my mug, right? So theoretically, I put my mug here, it detects that there's a mug there somehow, and then it goes down, grabs a bag of tea, and then swings it over, drops it into my mug. That's the rough order of operations. Uh, I'm gonna go and refine this, and uh, we'll see what we get. After an undisclosed amount of time in Fusion 360, we have a finished model. It says it's version 4, but it's really like 14 or 15. I've lost count after a while. So let's start from the bottom. Uh, here we have a space where the mug goes and we've got a space for the limit switch that detects the mug and we've got a space for the stepper as well. And then this bit attaches to the stepper down here and we've got the lead screw in here. This is where the uh, tea bags go with this weird little spatula spoon thing that helps me lower tea bags into it. And this column lead screw rail thing is kind of the thing I'm most proud of. So I realized that I don't actually need a servo to move the arm left and right, nor do I need an actual rail. So I combined them both in to one so this arm actually just follows that groove as it goes up and down the lead screw and it works pretty well and the last thing up here is just this little cap that holds the uh, limit switch so that it knows when this gets to the top and the ball bearing to steady the uh, the lead screw as it's wobbling around now that i have a finalized design let's uh, have a look at the finished product isn't it beautiful Beauty is subjective. Anywho, we've got a servo up here that does the pinchy pinch. We've got a time of flight sensor here, which is kind of like an ultrasonic distance sensor, but with laser. And we've got a limit switch up here. We've got the lead screw that goes down to the um, uh, stepper motor that I recovered from the old 3D printer. We've got a limit switch down here that you press with the mug. The whole thing runs on an ESP32 and a stepper motor driver. And there's a, uh, a voltage regulator thing to step down 12 volts down to five volts for the uh, micro controller and the servo. I did have to change the order of operations a little bit. As you can tell, it's already holding a tea bag. Well, that's because the lead screw in this 
uh, is of an older generation, so the threads are really close together. So it takes it a while to go and get a new tea bag. So instead of it getting one every time you want a cup of tea, it's already got one and it just drops it into your mug and then it prepares itself for the next cup of tea. This is as fast as I could get this uh, stepper motor to go. It, it tries its best, okay? There we go. Uh, there's a rubber band on the uh, claw, which means the uh, servo doesn't have to constantly push against the, uh, the tea bag to hold it. Uh, because uh, the server would get overheated and melt and break and then I'd have to replace it. Don't ask me how I know. So instead it actually just pushes against the rubber band to open the to open the claws, grabs the tea bag and then and then closes it. And then the servo just detaches so it's not actually wasting any power or you know heating up. It can hold a total of 44 tea bags, including one in the claw itself, which is pretty decent, at least I don't have to change it every time I want to make a cup of tea. Um, you're probably thinking to yourself, uh, how can you call this project Finish if there's exposed electronics? Well, that's because it's not finished. This is part one of a multi-part series where I actually make an automated tea making machine. Um, so if you like that, stick around, uh, subscribe, like, comment, let me know what, uh, <laughs> let me know what you think about it, and uh, don't forget to join us for next week's live stream. Until then, goodbye.